Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentucky in here with you from deadpit.com. We have another review for you today. This time is the latest release from our good friends over at Synapse Films. They always do some great quality releases on Blu-ray and 4K. This one is on Blu-ray and it's a movie that as far as I can tell, and I did, you know, some eBay research. This is the first time this thing has come out on disc. Uh, it had a VHS release back when the movie was kind of new and nothing else since then. This is from 1991. The director, James Glickenhaus, did Shakedown, Slaughter of the Innocents, and The Exterminator. And this is one of the biggest, I think this is his biggest flop of a movie. Uh, this thing had like a $16 million budget. It made a little over half of a million dollars in theaters. They were really hoping that this was going to be like a new action franchise type deal. Did not work out that way. And in the past 30 years plus, this thing has fell into total obscurity. Not to be seen or heard from since until now. Thanks to the dawn of Boutique Blu-ray, Don May Jr. We have this thing out, brand new remastered transfer. Looks great, and this is a particular film that I was not familiar with. Now, I'm very familiar with the stars of the movie, which Maria Cachita Alonzo, I mean, come on. Uh, Michael Ironside is in this as well, and of course, Christopher Walken as the lead McBain. And this is a nonstop action thrill ride. And we're gonna take a look at it, and then take a look at the release. And I will answer the question, is this worthy? Is this shelf materials? Is this going to go back on the shelf or am I just going to be like, eh? Let's see. In the movie McBain, Christopher Walken plays the title character Robert McBain, who is a rescued prisoner of war in the Vietnam War. The movie starts off that way. Roberto Santos is the soldier that saves him, and McBain makes him a promise that day that he owes him with his life. Now, I think they tear a hundred dollar bill, and they, you know, he makes a promise that you need anything, brother. Just call upon McBain, and here I am. I'll be, I'll be there. The movie quickly goes to modern day. Santos is now leading a group of rebels to try to take over the Colombian government and of course it does not work out that way he is killed pretty quickly and uh, McBain is contacted by his sister Christina played by of course Maria Conchita Alonso who wants to avenge the murder of her brother and now McBain vows to keep his promise to avenge Santos murder and rid the country of the drug-ridden government in Colombia once and for all, and he has decided to get his soldier buddies from Nam back together, and they're going to take down the Colombians in action-packed, explosion, extravaganza like no other. That's McBain. That's what you get with the James Glickenhaus joint from 1991 McBain. Eh, this is kind of a run-of-the-mill action movie. If you're a fan of movies like Rambo and Missing in Action and stuff like that, it's along the same lines as that. But eh, it's not as good. It's really not as good, to be quite honest with you. Now, I had fun with this. I think the production value on this thing is great. It look Visually, it looks stunning and very well made and everything. You can tell it had a pretty good-sized budget. But there was for sure, I can see why this thing bombed. The big thing is Christopher Walken is the lead. I'm not sure if there was any point in time in history. And I love Christopher Walken. He's an interesting guy. I see him in a movie. I always want to watch him. But I don't think he could ever completely carry a movie, you know, which he was asked to do here. So, um, but the movie's fine. Like I said, run-of-the-mill action movie, lots of explosions and gunfights and killing and violence and all that good stuff. This one's also kind of a precursor to 
the expandables it very much reminded me of the first expandables movie um uh, definitely a precursor to that and you know hey if this sounds like something that you're into if you like the chuck norris the stallone you know explosion action beat em up top movies that were very popular around this time period mcbain may be for you now there is no doubt this is the best this movie has and probably will ever look so if you're on the fence about this this one is a fairly priced one there's not really any special features on this i think there's a new commentary with the director glickenhaus and film historian chris poglioli and the theatrical trailer there is a new 5.1 surround track and the transfer itself is phenomenal it looks great and this is kind of you know just your basic edition from synapse which is fine not everything has to be this diamond pod you know flashy packaging and everything i i think we need to get back to just the movies folks just the movies I'm fine with these versions. I think Synapse, their thing is the disc itself. That's the star when it comes to these Synapse releases. Don May Jr. does an amazing job in every transfer that I've ever seen him do. man. And this one pops as well. Uh, McBain just recently came out from our good friends over at Synapse Films. Check it out. It's pretty much everywhere. Deep Discount, Amazon, BestBuy.com, Target.com. Wherever you get fine Blu-ray discs and 4Ks and, and DVDs even. I don't think this one came on DVD, but get the Blu-ray. It's good. It's worth it. Check it out and check us out. We're over at Dead Pit. Dots come. Give us the thumbs up. Up you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do. I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others. But they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1.